Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Uh, this video is much different. It's much more serious than normal. Oh, the dreaded coronavirus has entered our town. Uh, the first confirmed case was yesterday, and it actually wasn't directly in our town, but it was 20, 25 minutes away. So basically here, um, the town has pretty much just gone crazy. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised to see the automatic reaction of a lot of people and, um, and how they're, you know, they're going about this. And what I'm talking about, the first thing I'm talking about, toilet paper. <laughs> Guys, uh, all the toilet paper is gone that I know of. Uh, all my friends said, dude, I've went everywhere. Everywhere's out of toilet paper. Everywhere's out of hand sanitizer. Uh, so long story short here, we're going to get on the road. We're going to go to Walmart. I got up extra early this morning just to go to Walmart, go shopping around and try to find some toilet paper because we don't have a lot in the house and I need some. Now guys, I am not trying to make a joke of this situation. Uh, I'm just trying to cover it from my, my perspective. And my perspective is probably the same as a lot of yours out there. Seems like the common, uh, the common thing is people are absorbing toilet paper and a lot of items like toilet paper where we as humans, we just go through them a lot. Uh, I guess people are doing it because they're scared that they're gonna get stuck in their house sick and they're not gonna be able to leave for a week at a time or more. So first off, um, first off, first off, big, big thing I'd, I'd like to ask from you guys. And now I am not trying to void anybody's safety or anybody's uh, privacy. If, if, if you have contracted coronavirus or you know somebody ha that has and uh, you have some, some good experience seeing it or feeling it, drop a comment down below and let all of us know what it's like. I heard it's a uh, sore throat really dry cough, and a horrible fever with horrible body aches. I've heard that that's kind of the, the way it's going. I was sick this whole last week just with kind of sinus issues, and I had some headache stuff going on, but turns out just a head cold. So I thought that this would be a good video um, just to cover um, and, and cover it together, you know what I mean? But I'm sure it's gonna be the same across the nation. Uh, what I'm talking about is if you feel like you have the coronavirus or you think you might have it um, here what they're doing in my town at the local hospital and clinic um, they're asking you telling you actually do not just show up there if you show up to try to get a, a checkup or, or something here in my town they do not allow you in they don't see you they don't talk to you they don't let you in the door the thing you're supposed to do is contact your primary care provider first and foremost before you even leave your house. If you think you have it, again, don't leave home. Stay home. The hospitals, if they're anything like mine, you ain't gonna get in. I talked to some buddies around town uh, that I used to work with and they have had to send some employees to be checked and, and quarantined or whatever and uh, said they show up and they turn them down. You have to call your primary care provider. They don't want people just walking around. I don't know if they're gonna have people pull up in their cars and mouth swab you. I don't know, it's just, uh, this is insane. I mean, this is, this is, this has gotten crazy real quick. Now, I am not downplaying this situation because it's, this is real, guys. Uh, President Trump declared a national state of uh, emergency yesterday, so, when that happens, guys, guys, this, this is serious. But we're headed to Walmart. <laughs> hopefully Walmart, hopefully I'm up early enough to where Walmart hopefully has some toilet paper. But we're gonna go there. I'm gonna take the uh, GoPro with me and we're just gonna document the situation. I'm hoping that over last night they were able to restock the shelves a little bit, but let's see. I just ran into one of my buddies right when I walked in here. He was like, dude, there's no toilet paper. But the first thing I did was grab a sanitizer wipe right when I walked in here. Bet your butt. Wow, they're really out of the peanut butter. Holy smokes. They actually have a lot more bread than I thought. 
okay i see what people are talking about now look at this the shelves like depends on what type of product it'll be but look this is apple juice like look how picked apart it is look at this other aisle uh to can goods check this out i'm not going to talk to the camera over there because there's a bunch of people and i don't want to look weird <clears throat> Gone. Gone. Literally canned goods. Look, all the beans, all the corn, uh, all the noodles. There is no noodles here. What happened to the, all the Raymond noodles? What's up with that? Everybody just like Raymond noodles? I guess that makes sense. Cooking oil, completely gone. Jeez, it's like you forget what the essentials are that people are gonna buy. Sugar, all the sugar, gone. Flour, look at that, look, flour, gone. Wow, I've never seen this. The stuff that you don't really need, spices, it's still all stocked. Yep, the old cereal aisle has been picked down. Cereal really an essential though? So, to me it is. Oh my goodness. There is literally no toilet paper whatsoever. Oh no. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> this morning I uh, did the deed on, on the toilet and I took the normal amount of toilet paper off the spool and I'm like, dude, dude, whoa, 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 you gotta be conservative here. This is why, it's all gone. Oh my goodness. I guess every store in town's like this. Holy smokes, look at this. Look at the cleaning supplies. Oh my goodness, disinfectant and cleaning supplies, gone. Wow, almost all the paper towels are even gone. I'm sure people have been having to buy paper towels to uh, use for wipe, I would imagine. Hopefully they're not shoving that down the toilet. That'll clog it, but crazy. This is gnarly. Well, I hurried and got out of Dodge. <laughs> I mean, out of Walmart. Um, I started walking around a little more and we were vlogging and uh, I started really noticing how many people were actually sneezing and coughing around me. It's like, I'd go an aisle, I'd hear a cough, another cough, and a sneeze. I'd go an aisle, I'd hear two more coughs and three more sneezes. I'm like, oh boy, howdy, this is not looking good, guys. If you guys don't know anything about corona, um, I'm sure you do. We all pretty much know it all about corona by now. But, um, it's attacking the elderly. That Those are the ones that are really suffering. If you have heart disease, uh, lung problems, respiratory issues, uh, those are the people that have to be really concerned. I mean, everybody has to be concerned because we don't want to contract it and then spread it uh, to anybody, especially the people like the elderly, the respiratory people, issues. Yes, we do not want to spread it. So, um, this is crazy. I feel like it's, uh, I feel like I'm in a movie, kind of. But I want to spread something here, spread some positivity. Uh, yesterday, during uh, the presidential speech where he was addressing the nation, uh, a lady came on and, and she said something really, really, really that touched my heart. And I think that as uh, Americans, uh, we all need to stand together. The, the world actually needs to stand together as one and help each other out on this. And what I'm, what I'm saying is, this is our time to shine as Americans and help each other. Um, if there's the elderly, if you have an elderly neighbor, if you have a handicapped, disabled neighbor or friend or acquaintance or someone that you just know wasn't able to get out and get toilet paper or noodles like they're out of or, or, or something that they needed, uh, especially the elderly that just, the elderly, the um, disabled, the, uh, the people with bad immune systems that just don't need to get out, help them out help them out get have them stay home 
uh, help them out. Go get stuff they need for them. Uh, us young people, we can do that for our elderly folk, guys. I I'm telling you, it's time to shine as Americans. It's time to help each other out. Uh, the elderly, the disabled, uh, the not so, the not so fortunate uh, with health, they can use our help. A small gesture like that could actually end up saving someone's life. And what I'm saying is, let's say uh, that elderly person, you know, did go ahead and get out to go to the store to get something uh, because they had no one to help them. And uh, let's say they contracted it and things turned for the worse. I'm just saying. If you can get out there, if you're young, if you're healthy, if you have a good immune system, you're going to beat this thing. You, you're, you should be able to get past it if you don't have any, you know, lung, respiratory, health-related issues. Help your partners out around here, y'all. Yes, again, I'm talking to you, you, the young people, the healthy people, the people with strong immune systems. Help each other out. Yep, stop number two. No toilet paper. Um, one thing I've seen at Walmart and that I've been hearing about that I do not agree with is, <clears throat> let me get this straight, y'all. The people that are just buying up all the toilet paper, and not only just the toilet paper, but especially all of the baby wipes. Um, I had a buddy that seen a guy, a young man, uh, with literally a cart full, seven foot tall last night uh, is when this happened, full of nothing but baby wipes and whatever toilet paper that was left on the shelf. That's bull. That is bull. There are people out here with babies that need those wipes. You know what I mean? They got children out here that they got to wipe their butt, man. Come on. That, you don't need all that. You really, they, we gotta have respect for each other out here. I mean, my buddy right now, he said, um, he was like, luckily they had like a 500 pack or a thousand pack for like $80, I, I don't know, it was something crazy. It's like a 5,000 pack or something. Cost him like 80 bucks. That was the only thing that was available uh, as far as baby wipes last night. Um, yeah, just crazy, crazy, craziness out here. So, headed to my third location here. In the search for toilet paper. And I wanted to uh, say one thing here. The town I live in, Hutchinson, Kansas. Uh, it is roughly the size of about 40 to 50,000 people here. And we only have one Walmart. We don't have a Target. We don't have an Alco. We don't have many other places than Walmart to get a, an abundance of toilet paper. Uh, I'm going to hit some small places around here, but I guess what I'm getting at is again, again, the need for everybody to have some toilet paper and some baby wipes out here, guys. The need is thick. Be respectful, okay? Don't just buy up everything because you can. Come on now. Come on. What I'm saying is with only one Walmart, the TP shelves, <laughs> they dry. 40, 50,000 people, one Walmart, eh. Let me know down in the comments, are you guys all dealing with the same issues? You know what I mean? If, if, if there's something that you guys are really dealing with in your town, uh, something other than what I've covered, drop a comment down there, let us know. It's very interesting, and I think uh, us sharing all this information just helps us all prepare, and it helps us uh, just have more knowledge of the situation so we're not surprised so it's unfortunate well next stop we got about three or four of these stores in town and uh, I'm hoping they'll be able to hook us up with some with some TP here the good old Dollar General let's see what they're working with no way look at this I just found the cheat code Dollar General haha <laughs> They actually have quite a bit. They're out of some stuff, but uh, we found some toilet paper. Well, y'all know where to go <laughs> to get your toilet paper. Well, back here at the shop, back here at the house. Um, never in my day, my 33 years, did I think toilet paper 
was going to become so vital and uh, so scarce. You know what I mean? It's insane events like this that really show us what can happen really fast. You know what I mean? When things go downhill, people react really quick. Guys, please be respectful out there. Please respect each other. Please help somebody if you can. I think that um, there's going to be a lot of us that will be okay. Uh, my, my heart and prayers go out to each and every individual out there that is having issues that might be sick, uh, especially the elderly and the weak immune system. All, all you people, uh, please, please, please stay inside. Stay inside for a while. Just have someone go do your running for you. Uh, stay inside. If you are prone to getting sick all the time, if you have weak lungs, like my little brother, um, he has a very, very, very weak immune system. People like him, these are not good times to be out of the house. Let's try to keep each other safe. Uh, if you can help somebody, do it. But I hope you all are staying healthy out there. Be smart about this. Have some uh, antiseptic uh, hand sanitizer. Have have stuff around to use. Keep your hands clean. Uh, I was always really bad at that, but I think in the last five days, I've washed my hands more than I have in the whole last year, pretty much. So it's a, this, this is a good reminder to us when, when we move forward after Corona, you know, is out of here, whenever that'll be, hopefully. It's a good reminder on how dangerous our sticky little germs can be and how fast they can spread. So, but thank you all for being here. This isn't a normal video. I wanted to go document uh, the situation the best I could. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, please stay safe, y'all.